Let's solve one question from Laplace transform. We need to prove that Laplace of cos AT equals to S divided by S square plus A square. So let's begin with the process proof. Now we know that Laplace of FT is integral of 0 to infinity e power minus st into ft dt. So, using this formula, Laplace of cos at will be integral 0 to infinity e power minus st. In place of ft, we will have cos at dt. Okay. Now, we know one formula that is a shortcut integral of e power at into cos bt dt is e power at divided by a square plus b square a cos bt minus b sin bt. Now, we will use this formula, but in this particular question, in place of b, we have a. So, in place of b, we have a and also in place of a, we have minus s. So, replace a by minus s. So, wherever you will see b in this formula, replace it by a and wherever you see a, replace that by minus s. So, we rewrite Laplace of cos at is 0 to infinity e power minus st cos at dt which in turn this integral is equal to e power a. Now, a can be replaced by minus s. So, e power minus st divided by a square plus b square. That means minus s square is s square and in place of b we can write a. So, a square a that means minus s cos bt that means in place of b we can write a. In place of b again write a sin at. Is it fine? Limit is from 0 to infinity. Okay. Now, you can take this uh, minus sign out and s square plus a square also out. Now, you are left with e power minus st s cos at plus a sin at from 0 to infinity. Now we will put infinity here. So s square plus a square. If we put infinity, you will get e power minus infinity into s. That will be minus infinity only. And here if you put infinity, so you will get s cos of infinity plus a sine of infinity. Okay. Minus sign. Now if you put 0 here, 0 in place of t. So e power minus 0 is similar, same as 0. So you can directly write. And inside you will get s cos of 0 plus a sine of 0. Okay. Now, uh, let's see here. This is e power minus infinity now. You all know that e power minus infinity can be written as 1 upon e power infinity. Okay. And 1 upon, this is a very very big quantity. So, you can write this 1 upon very big quantity. So, it is 0. Further, e power 0 is 1. So, we can simplify it further. 1 upon s square plus a square. This is 0. 0 into this thing will give us 0. So, we will get 0 here minus 1 into cos 0 is 1 so you are left with s 
sin 0 is 0 so that gets nullified now minus s into minus 1 is 1 upon s square plus a square so this is what you have got and this was what laplace of cos a t now you will get s also in numerator so s upon s square plus a square so in the last video or uh, you can check the playlist for that we proved that laplace of sin a t was what a divided by s square plus a square and in this particular video we proved that laplace of cos a t is s divided by s square plus a square so i hope you understood both the videos let's uh, look at this uh, carefully once again and this was a formula which i used which this one so this is uh, just a shortcut which made this question pretty simple